Now that we've listened to the track, let's go over three rhythm approaches. The first is kind of a sparse approach using legato chords, concentrating kind of on the 13th. That's what I'd like you to do, concentrating on the 13th, the 9th, the 13th. Now when we hit the G7, I want you to think about the sharp 9. I want you to target that. Okay, C minor 7, then target the sharp 9 of the F7. Okay, so 13ths, nice legato rhythms. All right, I'm letting them hold out. Now the sharp 9 to the C minor 7. Okay, so I want to target that for one of the choruses. Nice legato sound on the 13th uh, chord and then targeting the sharp 9 of the G7 and the sharp 9 of the F7. The second approach is pretty cool. It's a simple approach. It's the Charleston rhythm, which is a ba, 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 one, two, and, one, two, and. Okay, just two notes. Ba, 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 ba. Keep it going. The B flat seventh, the, the G seventh, minor seventh. Right? You see that? It's a great feel. It's like a party kind of time when you put that in the comping because you get a groove going. You're right there in the rhythm section and you're creating a new groove right within the big groove. Okay, and it's fun to play over that. So now you're not only accompanying, but you're adding a rhythm guitar part, which I like. So once again, it's taken from that big B flat seventh chord. It's just the middle two notes. Same with the E flat nine, it's just those two notes. There's your G seventh. C minor 7th, you have these two notes, and then the F7, back to your B flat. And again, the rhythm, ba, 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 it's a fun one. So I want you to target that for a chorus, okay? And then the last one I want you to think about and try to target is keeping the B flat note on top. Right? Using that classic rhythm. Ba, 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 two, three, four. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Always while having the B flat on the top of the chord. Now check this out. Okay, remember we go B flat, A7, A flat 7, G7. So we're going to take the B flat 13, move it down to A13, A flat 13, G13, but while keeping the B flat on top. It's just C minor 7th, and then F7 suspended, back to the B flat 13. So, ba, 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 ba. Okay, another approach that I want you to target while accompanying. It's like encompassing a big band riff with rhythm guitar. Trying to add something of substance as an extra part to propel not only the rhythm section, but the soloist. So let's move on to some soloing concepts.